Mail Online delves deeper into the crisis and looks at whether this is now an annual trend. Why is there an energy shortage? But with conditions being calmer, there has been less wind power generated. On some days wind can provide more than half the country's electricity. One of the main reasons is the cold snap that has blanketed Britain over the past week, leading to an increase in the demand for power from UK households and businesses. Not only this. While just two weeks ago blustery conditions saw the UK break its record for wind power generation. This was helped by a growing number of turbines across Britain. Such has been the impact of strong wind speeds in recent weeks that it helped slash Britain's reliance on natural gas for electricity. Which in turn saw gas prices fall close to their pre-Ukraine war level. But with calmer conditions over the last seven days, and more on the way, wind power is forecast to be lower than usual. So much so that on Saturday it provided less than a quarter of Britain's electricity, meaning more natural gas had to be used to prop up demand. Which in turn has been higher because of the cold weather. It is also unclear whether the UK will be able to import the power it needs via undersea cables from Europe. Experts have previously expressed fears that the UK will face challenges getting gas from storage sites in Europe this winter. With countries on the continent facing their own supply crunch due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Is Russia to blame? Sort of. But there are many other factors. Ever since it invaded Ukraine. The Kremlin has reduced energy supplies to Europe in response to what it says are repunitive economic sanctions imposed on it by the West. Nord Stream 1, Russia's largest gas pipeline to Europe, was closed indefinitely last September after a number of leaks were found in it. EU leaders said the leaks were caused deliberately, but the Kremlin has denied being to blame. Nord Stream 1 would normally supply European Union states with about 35% of all the gas they import from Russia. While the UK does not itself rely on Russia for oil and gas. Any disruption to the EU or international supplies on the whole, causes a widespread impact that has a knock-on effect on Britain. So how did it all begin? As countries began to recover from the pandemic, Demand for gas increased and couldn't be met because of a supply shortage, explains Abigail Ward, policy and communications officer at Energy Saving Trust. How can I sign up? The national grid will run events asking customers to reduce their electricity use during a set time. 26 companies have signed up. They will either invite customers to sign up or allow them to apply via their websites. Do I have to take part? Customers can take part in as many, or as few, events as suits them what do I need. To get involved you must have a smart meter that automatically sends half-hourly readings. What will happen? 1. You will get an alert the day before each event, telling them what window they need to reduce energy use in i.e. 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. 2. Customer must confirm they are taking part by text or email 3. Use less energy during the event 4. They will save money on your bill and earn credit of up to £20 per day. This caused gas prices to go up in 2021. Russia's invasion of Ukraine then threatened supplies. And this drove up the price of gas even more. As mentioned above, the UK can tap into storage sites in Europe if it needs to, even if that is looking a little more precarious this year. Part of the reason it has to do this is because Britain has some of the lowest amounts of gas storage capabilities in Europe, leaving the market exposed to the supply crunch. Less than 1% of Europe's stored gas is held by the UK, despite us relying heavily on it for home heating and cooking. Why are electricity prices affected by the gas shortage? 
Electricity prices are also high because they're directly linked to gas prices. Although about 40% of our electricity comes from renewables. This is combined mostly with gas-generated electricity transmitted and distributed across our electricity network, said Ms. Ward. More than a million households in England, Scotland and Wales will be paid to cut back their electricity usage between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. today to prevent blackouts. It comes amid warnings that energy supplies will be tighter than normal on one of the coldest days of the year. But why is Britain so short of energy? Experts say it is a perfect storm of the cold weather ramping up demand. Lower than usual wind power and uncertainty over whether the UK will be able to import the power it needs via undersea cables from Europe.